I am Jess from Knits Please and welcome to episode number two of the Knits Please podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy uh, the knitting things that I'm going to show you today. Uh, so as I say, uh, my name is Jess. I am Knits Please all over the internet. Uh, so you can find me on Instagram at Knits Please UK and I'm on Ravelry as Knits Please. I don't use it very often, um, but you can still find me on there. Um, I've got back into Pinterest recently, uh, so you can also find me as Knits Please on Pinterest. And of course, you can visit my website, which is knitsplease.co.uk. And on there, you will find all of my knitting patterns and blogs and yeah, hopefully some fun things. Uh, the website is actually a very interesting uh, thing to talk about at the moment because they have recently redesigned the, the whole thing. Uh, so I closed everything down for a week uh, about two weeks ago and um, beavered away hard behind the scenes uh, to give everything a nice fresh new look and I'm really happy with it I think it really represents like knits please as the brand that I want it to be it's very clean and very minimal um, so yeah I think it looks really cool and really modern uh, so please do check it out so that's knitsplease.co.uk of course I'll put the link uh, in the description box below and let me know what you think I'd love to hear your thoughts and any feedback that you have uh, so I think I will just kind of get stuck in, show you what I've been working on. Uh, so actually I, I'm quite impressed with how much I've got going on. I think it's been, I think maybe five weeks since I last did a podcast. I'm gonna try and do uh, once a month um, knitting podcasts. So hopefully uh, I will have enough to show you uh, between those <laughs> between those things of the knits that I'm working on um, and that I will still be able to keep up with doing it once a month. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is a couple of whips. Um, I've got one which is the same uh, as one of the things that I was working on last time. Uh, last time I also showed you uh, my vanilla socks, um, which I think were I think were the May socks for the box of socks, Cal. Um, but I have not been knitting on them at all. I don't think I even I don't think I've even knit one stitch on them since I last showed them. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to hit the 12 pairs of box of socks. Uh, for this year, but I'm, I'm happy with how I'm going um, and I think I've got lots of really exciting stuff in the works uh, Which is taking priority over more and more pairs of socks uh, So I'm gonna show you the thing that you will have seen before if you watched podcast episode one if you haven't check it out It's a good one um, which is there's a jumper um, So I was knitting this jumper with Lauren Aston designs like super chunky yarn uh, which I absolutely adore so it's like this gorgeous kind of color block so it's super super chunky um and i think i don't know if i've done part of the sleeve i think i must have done part of the sleeve um so basically what had happened was i was doing this kind of color block effect and i ran out of this light colored um yarn so i had to order some more but it was so thick so chunky i was in the middle of moving it was really really hot and i thought for all of these reasons uh, i'm just going to put it to the side and come back to it another time so i finally have come back to it. Um, the the ball of yarn that I got this time around is a slightly different shade um, to the bottom grey. I mean, it's the same colour, um, but it's from a different batch, so it's got a slightly different tone to it. Uh, so I had knit like I don't know, like this much of the sleeve or something, um, but I ripped that back so I could just cast it on with the new colour or pick up the stitches with the new colour so that sleeve was all one colour. Um, so yeah, I've done this sleeve, uh, which is like, it looks quite long, uh, but I think that's mostly because this is a cropped jumper, uh, as most of my knits are. Um, but I've tried it on and I, I like a long sleeve, so I think it fits all right. Um, and then I've just picked up the stitches uh, to do the second sleeve. I always find I'm better if I pick up like you know when you're like you've got a next sort of like stage of knitting um to go in your in your jumper i.e picking up your second sleeve and i find i always 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 need to do that as soon as i finish the first sleeve otherwise it will just sit there forever because picking up the stitches is like ah oh, a thing to have to do instead of just like picking up and kind of more mindlessly knitting uh, so i'm glad that i picked up the stitches straight away so that then i can just pick it up and continue to knit on the sleeve when it takes my fancy uh, but I also have another jumper in the works which is taking a bit of priority at the moment uh, so I'll show you that one now um, so 
if you have already been following me on instagram or anything like that or i signed up to my newsletter because i have a newsletter that i send out quite regularly um you might know that i'm already kind of cranking out the patterns um so my idea is i'm hoping to release a pan a month um for the foreseeable future really it's kind of a new goal that i want to get into the habit of of working on so i've got I mean, technically I've got three patterns in the works at the moment. I'll show you two of them later because they're currently, they're finished objects for me to show you, um, but they're also in the test knit phase. Um, and so this one is currently in the designing phase. Um, and it's another, surprise, surprise, cropped jumper. Um, so this, so basically I had, I've had this yarn for years and years and years, and this is now <laughs> the third thing that I've knit with this particular, um, batch of yarn uh, so first knit um it's like a, a wide so i think it was like a a five by two rib so five knit two purl five knit two purl so it was like this wide rib with just like the thin lines between um and i knit so more of a cropped uh roll neck jumper and it was my first time um trying to adjust much of a garment pattern to fit myself um i was adjusting the pattern because it just had a normal neckline and then i was trying to do like a roll neck um, which I wanted a little bit of different shaping. It was a different kind of sleeve that I'd done before. Um, so there are a lot of amendments to the pattern. And as you know that I've now got like on in this jumper, it didn't work out. Um, the fit was just not right, uh, so I frogged that. And then I knit something that was like a super oversized, just like garter stitch loose fit jumper, which um, was on my Instagram, like I knit it last year. Um, so if you like scroll back, you might be able to see that on my Instagram. Um, but basically that one just kept on growing. Um, so I knit it, I think on like 10 millimeter needles um, with a DK weight yarn um, because I wanted that kind of like loose knit effect. Um, but because of that, it just kept getting longer and longer and longer and longer until it was just ridiculous. The sleeves were sort of like, this far below <laughs> below my fingertips um, and it was just not something I was ever going to wear um, once it had got to that stage. I've since learned that I think if you knit, based on another pattern I've, I've since knit, which was a, a ruined pattern I haven't made up, um, if you knit with two different size needles, so if I'd knit with like a 10 millimeter needle on all of the right side and then on the wrong side I could have knit with a smaller, smaller needle, um, that would have just like tightened it up i think and kind of held it and kept the structure a little bit better uh, so i think that's a technique i'm probably going to look into in the future um but for now that jumper is becoming this jumper um so this is another raglan so this is my first time designing a raglan jumper um so i've done this top down um raglan now i'm not doing i'm trying to make the raglan itself a bit more subtle um so i don't know if you'll be able to see that um but you know i haven't done any stitches between the two increases um so hopefully like the seam the seam along there will be a little bit more subtle than um a raglan that has kind of the stitches between um so again it's a cropped one and then the detail is already going to come from the sleeve so i'm not sure how well it's going <laughs> to translate on the needles um, but the sleeves are fitted until it just above the elbow bone and then they're going to flare out. So I've just done all my increases to flare it um, and then yeah I'm going to see see how that knits up um, and hopefully it'll work out. If it not, if it doesn't then I'll just kind of rip it back and, and try again. Um, so yeah that's going to be, they're going to be like fully long sleeves so it's going to be a crop fitted um, jumper and then it's gonna have like long sleeves which I I like them really long so I'm probably gonna get them to come down to kind of like my knuckles um, but I think in the pattern that will be amendable um, so this is hopefully going to be uh, the pattern that I released in October so I've got some time to work on it um, and you know write up and amend the pattern and then get it out to testers and go through that process um, but also I'm working with my new knit pro carbons knitting needles uh, so i've got the interchangeable ones unfortunately they only had the purple cord obviously i would prefer the black cord uh, just because it is much more me um, in terms of aesthetic they're very much me uh, obviously being black the silver is a nice kind of touch as well um, but like i've really been enjoying knitting with them it's nice and 
light to work with, um, but I just think there's enough kind of like stability in them. Um, a lot of the kind of bamboo needles that I've used, they were just like a really cheap multi-pack set. So they were nice and light to work with, but actually they were kind of like bending, like bowing, because um, they weren't very high quality. Um, so hopefully these will be better and I'm just glad to have an interchangeable. Uh, so I'm starting, I think, to build up an interchangeable collection um, so that I can mix and match things instead of having to buy like a million different needles, which is what I'm currently doing. Um, so I think at the moment that's all I've got to show you in terms of whips. I still have those socks on the needles and at some point I will definitely get around to knitting them. But today is not that day where I'm just going to have some tea. So, oh, I feel like I've done lots of talking already. Um, so I'm just having some green tea. Uh, I like to start my morning with a cup of green tea. Um, at the moment I'm just drinking like kind of cheap stuff, I think it's like Tetley's or something with lemon, um, but I'm planning to get a tea strainer um, so I can get like a loose leaf tea instead. Uh, so if you have any loose leaf uh, green tea recommendations, let me know because I'm in the market. Okay, so let's crack on. I am going to show you now a few whips. Um, no, that's a lie. I'm going to show you some FOs. I've just shown you my whips. Um, so again, most of the stuff I'm knitting is garments. Um, but if you've seen my new website, um, you might have seen that I've just added a kind of like a little freebie pattern to my newsletter. So if you sign up to my newsletter, um, you will receive the pattern um, to knit yourself a face cloth. Um, and really this came about because I am more and more inspired by kind of like minimalism, um, kind of like plastic pollution is already kind of hot topic at the moment but it's also kind of something I'm quite passionate about. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot, I've been trying to reduce the plastic that I consume um, and generally just being less wasteful and so I'm of a mind of trying to create more things for myself instead of buying things and um, particularly things that are disposable. Um, so for example like face wipes. Um, so I wanted, I, I've been wanting for a while to start knitting things for myself. For example, I want to knit some tea towels, dish cloths, face cloths, like grocery bags, those kind of things. Um, so I just started with like this simple seed stitch face cloth pattern, which is the one that comes free with uh, my newsletter. Uh, so I just kind of packaged it up nicely. If you want to send it as a gift, I just literally just wrapped some string around it. Um, and it's just, as I say, simple seed stitch, um, which is also moss stitch. Um, and it's very basic. It's just a square and there's nothing particularly exciting about it. It probably doesn't look very good um, on camera. It's certainly not very easy to take a picture of, um, but it's, it's great, you know? Um, it's exactly, exactly what you need. Uh, so it's great if you want to start knitting some of your own products. It's also great if you have never knit before and you want something simple to start with. Um, and also something that you know you'll definitely be able to use. Um, and then it also comes with, again, not very uh, photogenic, uh, but just little um, makeup wipes. Uh, so personally, I don't really wear makeup, um, but in terms of like removing makeup with something instead of face wipes or like disposable cotton pads, um, I thought this pattern amendment would be really helpful. So that is just like a super simple little thing. It was very quick to knit up. Um, but I just hope it's going to be like a valuable resource to people. Um, I mean, I've really enjoyed having them and I hope, you know, other people will too. Uh, so if you want to get your hands on this pattern for free, uh, just head to knitsplease.co.uk uh, and just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see the newsletter sign up and you can get that and it will come straight into your inbox. Uh, so there we go. We are saving the environment together, pals. Let's do it. <laughs> so the next FO I'm going to show you is the one that I'm wearing. Um, so if you watched podcast episode one, uh, you will have seen this before in whip form. Um, and I think it probably looked a bit uh, underwhelming um, because it was just uh, just a big rectangle on a pair of needles. So there wasn't really very much to see. Um, but once it's all put together, I think, you know, it's good. It is exactly what it says on the tin, which is beginner boxy crop. And the idea is uh, that it's the perfect first garment project for kind of like beginner knitters or people who only really knit things like scarves. Um, I call it affectionately my, if you can knit a scarf, you can knit this tea. Tea. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically it's just constructed of like 
four rectangles. You've got one for the front, one for the back, one for each of the sleeves. Um, so it's all straight knitting and then just like seamed up um, in construction. Uh, so basically it is super simple, super accessible, uh, pretty basic, super comfy, and like the perfect thing to just like throw on. Um, you know, it's really easy to wear and really easy to knit. Um, so hopefully uh, it will go down a treat. Uh, so this one is currently in tester phase at the moment. I think I opened up the applications last week. Um, so testers are starting to knit this now um, and this I'm planning to release in September. So this will be my September knitting pattern. So this one I knit out of Debbie Bliss cotton denim uh, DK weight yarn, um, which unfortunately I've since found out I think is going to be discontinued, um, but any DK weight yarn is going to work. Uh, cotton, I would suggest. Um, so yeah, I think there's not really too much to say. I've kept it intentionally so like the hem of the sleeves and the body just like naturally roll up because you know that just gives it a little bit more detail. Um, so yeah, I mean if you're into it, watch this space uh, because the pattern should be released in September. Um, I always announce pattern releases first to anyone who's signed up to my newsletter. Um, so if you want to sign up to my newsletter you can do so on my website. Um, and yeah, be the first to know. So I have two more finished objects that I'm going to show you today. Um, and they're both they're both further Knits Please upcoming patterns. Oh, well, no one's actually been released. Let me show you that one first. Uh, so this is the Keystone Crop. Um, so this is like the second iteration of the pattern. I'd first knit one uh, in a different shade of Debbie Bliss Cotton Denim. Um, and in tester phase, you know, there was just some feedback about the kind of proportions really. So it was quite low cut and then the body was shorter. Um, so in, in all of that tester feedback, we got some really good uh, recommendations for adjustments. So this is the one that I re-knit with the revised pattern. Um, and this is just in like paint box yarns cotton um, in... I can't remember, it might be, there's, there's, there's like four different grey options, so this is like the, I think like fourth darkest grey, or third. Um, either way, if you're interested, in, you, you can you can look that up. Uh, so it's just like a really simple summer, um, lots of summer knits, lots of cotton I've got going on at the moment. It's like just really nice and loose fitting, it's got this kind of like curved neckline here. Um, and again, it's just like really easy to wear. It's knit um, on like slightly larger needles than you would usually use for a DK weight yarn. Um, and the idea is that gives you this kind of like uh, slightly looser texture to the knit, um, which uh, is just the effect I was going for. I wanted it to be a bit kind of looser, slightly sheer, um, and just, you know, like a really nice summer crop. Uh, so this pattern is the Keystone Crop. It's available on my website. Uh, so if you do want to knit up one of these for yourself, you can find that uh, at knitsbees.co.uk. Um, and I think at some point I'm going to try and build up a pattern bundle um, with a few of my best patterns. Um, so that will hopefully be coming soon after the release of the next one, which I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is the final FO that I'm going to show you today. Um, it is as yet unnamed, uh, but I'm currently calling it like my summer crop. Uh, so this is another cotton cropped vest. Can you sense a theme coming here? Um, it seems to be what I've been into at the moment. Um, you know, I think it was because the weather got really hot, so I wanted to still be knitting. I wanted to be wearing the things that I was knitting. Um, so summer knit weather one. Uh, so this is actually, again, it's just like a simple stocking stitch like most of the stuff that I make. Um, just because I think, I love it. It's mindless, it's easy, I love the effect. I'm into all that kind of minimalist style. Um, so it's got like some nice shaping around the, the kind of like armband. Um, and so this is actually a four ply yarn, so it's knit on uh, smaller needles. Um, and my favorite part is actually the back. Um, so you've got this like nice high neckline at the front and then the straps come all the way down and the back is just kind of like a straight panel um, so it meets quite like low in the back. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. This generally, so this kind of sits around about on the collarbone here. Um, so I think when it's on, you know, it will be slightly higher 
at the front than it might look on the hanger, something along those lines. Um, so this is also in test phase um, and we've got some good feedback. So there's gonna be some, some slight adjustments to the fit of the pattern um, just because of like different body shapes. Um, so the pattern's gonna be a little bit more open in terms of um, sizing so people can really work it to size them, uh, to fit them really well. And that one should be coming this month. So this is my August pattern. Um, I should be doing the amendments over the next couple of days. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will be coming in the next few weeks. So again, watch this space, knitsplease.co.uk, uh, sign up to the newsletter, follow me on Instagram, because that is where you will find out about the release of this one. Um, what I might do with the keystone crop and this one is see if I can just pop a couple of pictures in, just to the side here, so you can see what they look like on a human being instead of just on a hanger. Um, so, I mean, normally I would kind of talk about dream knitting here, uh, but I'm not sure that I really have anything. Honestly, I've been really focused on knitting um, my own patterns, designing my own patterns. I haven't really been keeping up too much um, with kind of new patterns that have been coming out and other things, because I've just got so much on my plate. Uh, so I recently, I say recently, uh, this week I've just completed my first week back in kind of formal employment. I've been self-employed working from home um, for the past two and a half years and I've recently just rejoined the uh, traditional workforce. Um, I've got a great job, I'm loving it so far, um, but it just doesn't allow me quite so much time to knit. Um, so I am having to focus on the things that are my top priorities and at the moment that is my own knitting patterns. Um, I know there are a couple of things, I think I mentioned last time, um, Knititude has the um, beginner raglan pattern and there's an amendment one that she's done which is like cropped, obviously, are you surprised? I'm sure you're not. Um, and it's got like this giant cowl neck which is lovely and these big like bell sleeves. So I mentioned that in my last podcast about dream knitting and uh, since then um, there might be a knit along coming for that. So if there is, then I think I will definitely try and get that on the needles. Um, and then also it's probably going to be a longer term one, uh, but Notorious Knits has her Not For Jogging Joggers, um, which are knitted jogging bottoms. And in the winter, I absolutely love just like cozying up on a cold winter evening with a hot chocolate and a good book under a blanket. And I'm always, always, always wearing joggers. Um, so I definitely think those are ones that I would love to wear when it comes to the winter um but other than that you know i'm not really not really looking at different patterns and different things to be knitting um so i've got my uh, up to october patterns planned out um but i still need to decide what i'm going to be releasing in november and december um so if you have any ideas if you have any things that you really want to see a pattern for that you can't find or you know if you've seen something on my instagram or anything that you kind of are inspired by but would like something different um let me know because you know uh if, if there's something that you want i'm gonna hopefully try and make that happen uh so yeah, if you've got anything that you want to see in the winter months any patterns that you want to see me release around that time uh drop me a comment drop me an email find me on instagram uh drop a comment below <laughs> uh any way that you can get in touch with me get in touch with me and let me know what your thoughts are so yeah i think i think that's pretty much it for today um, I don't really have anything else to say and I also don't really want to make my podcast unnecessarily long. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed uh, joining me, seeing some of the things that I've been knitting, seeing some of the patterns that I have been working on. Um, I hope you are inspired. Um, if there's anything that you want to see me talk about in these podcasts, drop me a comment, let me know. Um, I'm super, super into what you guys want to hear. Um, so yeah, please let me know any feedback. Uh, so as I've said a million times, <laughs> already uh, you can find me on instagram i am knits please uk on ravelry i am not so present but still there as knits please and on pinterest i am ever more active also as knits please um, blogs and patterns you can find on my website which is knitsplease.co.uk and um, do subscribe to my newsletter because as I say I try and put everything out to newsletter subscribers first um, so if you head to knitsplease.co.uk scroll down to the bottom uh, there's a newsletter subscriber sign up form there so 
Thank you so much if you stuck with me uh, for the whole time. I really appreciate you watching um, and I will see you again next time. Bye.